Hi, today we will talk about hard switches and soft switches. We will especially have a focus on the soft switches with, and how we configure them in the DDCS version 3.1. Hard switches is, as it is in the word hard, is a hardware that you use to control your homing or your hard limit switch. A soft limit switch is a virtual or not virtual, but it is a place on the axis where you want it maximum to go. So um, in my case, I have uh, hard, one hard switch on the X axis. I have one on the Z axis. And I have one on the Y axis. And the Y and the X is homing switches. Uh, the set is a limit switch. The possibility with, with the, the DTCS uh, uh, offline controller is that I can also use a limit switch as a homing switch. So why do I want uh, to home it, uh, my, my, uh, uh, my CNC machine, when I start it up? Well, it is because I need to be sure that it is has the zero, in my case, in this corner, I have the 0.0.0, .0 coordinate system, which, which is the machine coordinate system. All soft limits are working in the coordinate uh, uh, system of the machine, where the G53 or the MAC coordinate system, uh, when I operate the machine, it is done in G54. So you can home everything here, have your limits which is as an example here, and you can still work inside the G54 coordinate system, but if it comes too far out, it will stop at that position. So it is a kind of safe, uh, safety, so you're not uh, hammering into um, uh, the end of the machine and uh, it will get out of uh, synchronization or whatever do I know. We will uh, physically now take a look on what, why it is important to have uh, uh, the homing and uh, I will show you what can happen if, uh, if we not do it. You can of course go uh, turn everything over here and then set the G53 to, uh, to zero but it is more convenient to do it like this. So let's dive into it and let me show you how we configure the soft limits in the DDCS and uh, how we find the, the maximum travel distance from the zero on the three different axes. So before we continue, I will uh, home all the axes So, and while that is happening, it will home on the X, Y, and Z, uh, and then it will go two millimeters down and out on each axis, just to get released from the switch. So, and that's done now. Well, now I want to find my, my limits uh, for the soft limits. And this means that I want to run the uh, the x-axis as far as I can get it, read the number. I want to run my uh, y-axis as far as I can get it from this positioning. And I want then to see how much down I can go with my, um, with my z-axis as well. So we have found the values. We will write them down on a piece of paper. So let's see how far we can get out with the x-axis. On the x-axis, I can see 782 millimeters, so I will make the x to 780 millimeters. I'll write this down. 
and we go to the y-axis but in fact we could do the the set before uh, we are quite very close now so and it's uh, set minus 107 so I will make that minus 100 that value picking it up again and we now go out with the y-axis and see how far we can be there and it is in the machine coordinate system we are operating not the G54 so now Uh, 758 millimeters. Let me see if there would be space for the last. I would say 760 millimeters on the y-axis. So, so now we can enter this into the controller, and I will show you how we do that. So to enter the parameter marks, you need to push the page two times and we are in the menu. But in fact, these numbers out here are not line numbers, these are macros, but in fact, or parameter marks. So uh, let's uh, go down, we need to find the parameter number 374. So, let's see where we can get this. There we are. And you can also see the, uh, it says software limit parameters. So the first one you need to activate is the mark 374 and you need to enter this parameter to a one and uh, to enable the whole thing so and we did uh, write down our numbers and the first one is in the negative value and was at the set axis so let us do minus 100 there on the set axis then we go to the we go to the X Let me see there, X plus, and we had a value of 780, and eighty. and on the Y plus, we had, we had, 760 so so these are the numbers we have a minus of 100 here on the z-axis we have 780 in the plus direction of the y-axis and we have on the uh, oh, sorry, on the x-axis and on the y-axis we have 760. And that is all we need to, to change. So to get out of this and store all this information, we just push the page again and everything is ready. So wow. it's not really that difficult. Um, before we test it out, I absolutely need to home the axis because I have been messing around with uh, with the settings here so my my G53 is absolutely not in the range of what it should be so let me do a homing so I'm waiting for the Y axis uh, 
and we're good. So, homing is done. So let's test out what we just had programmed into our parameters. So the first one we can do is we need to see if it stops here. So I will take the chance and I will hammer over here with 6,000 millimeters per minute. So we are running and it should hopefully stop. And it does exactly on 780 millimeters. And the same sh uh, should be with <coughs> with the set axis. And it stops. So everything works as it should do be. Um, I will advise you to have home switches because it makes life much, much easier. You can see now we can go in here and I will now set my I will now set uh, zero out all my axes in the G54 coordinate system so let's do that so I have a big zero all the way down but it will now I will continue run full speed 6000 millimeters to the right so and it should stop anyway we hope and it did so you see it works from the G53 coordinate system I hope it helps you to make these uh, soft limits and uh, thank you for watching and have a nice evening bye bye